The Azimio La Umoja One Kenya leader, Raila Odinga, has jetted back into the country after about two weeks abroad in a silent but rigorous campaign for the Africa Union Commission chairperson job. Now, Odinga, who has visited the United Kingdom and Dubai, among other African nations, is expected to have an even more shuttling calendar in the months of April and May. As KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel To now explains, the Azimio leader returns to a bitter succession battle that threatens to split his support base with a new youthful outfit dubbed Team Ground, announcing plans to take over the opposition role. The former Prime Minister who landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport Thursday evening has been out of the country for more than 10 days now. Reports indicate that Odinga has been to the United Kingdom and Dubai for a few days and some in a West African country as he ramps up his silent campaigns for the AU Commission chairperson job ahead of his formal submission by 15th of April. During his absence from the country, his social media handles also went quiet with only one post in the past one week which read, quote, we have to awaken the dormant strength of the African continent. It's time for us to reignite our power and reclaim our rightful place in the world, end of quote. Because you know that a candidate to be successful must get two-thirds two -thirds, uh, physically. First round or second round. If you don't get two-thirds, then you're not elected. So I have to dialogue with virtually all leadership of the continent. Although the government had announced that it would sponsor and back his bid, details of the amount of money which will be spent in the campaign period still remain scanty. However, according to records in Parliament, the government blew a whooping 437 million shillings in the unsuccessful bid to have former CS Amina Mohammed topple the now outgoing chair Musa Faki. And even after landing, Odinga will just be in the country for a few days before being airborne again for a rigorous campaign period next month and May. In April, Odinga will be traveling to Djibouti and Ethiopia to solidify his votes in the East African bloc. In May, the opposition leader will still be on the road with trips to Zimbabwe, Malawi, Angola, Zambia and Botswana. This schedule is, however, subject to change. Already Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has been in Kenya and held a meeting with President William Ruto where the former Prime Minister's bid was discussed. Odinga is also set to visit South Africa after the general elections slated for 29th of May. <laughs> President William Ruto is also expected to fly out to Ghana and Zimbabwe as he is set to lead another campaign for Odinga during his state visits. <laughs> And as he settles back into the country, the former prime minister will also be coming for a firefighting mission as the triple succession battle in his Azimio coalition, Odium Party and Nyanza backyard, threatens to split his support base. A new team made up of young generation MPs has already announced plans to take over the opposition role. Not limited to calling for mandamanos, regional mandamanos in every county, in every constituency, in every ward. And these mandamanos will better be imagined than experienced. Lakini this is the ground team. Kwa hivyo tumesema ground team lazima tuonge maneno ambayo iko ground. Kwa hivyo ukituona hapa tukiwa pamoja, we are youthful, independent thinkers, we are the voices of the common wananchi. Emmanuel Tau, KT News, Nairobi. Once again, the 